Hello and welcome to another Den of Iniquity. This week, uh, I'm not going to say we got lazy, but eh, we decided to do an experiment of kinds. Greeny decided to, I, I'm not joking. Greeny walked in and said, I've done something you're probably going to regret. He decided to put it to the public, ask his questions. So here we go. I have no idea what's on this page. This should be hilarious. Right, first one, ill will. In honor of Fight Club, if you had to fight any celebrity you wanted, who would you choose? It's actually not a bad question. Who would I want to fight? The obvious answer is Justin Bieber, but I think that would be a little bit one-sided. Um, mainly because I just get too anxious and want to rip his throat out with my teeth. I'm sorry. Um, but... All things being equal, who would be a good fight? Tony Shaw. He could he kick the crap out of me, but it would probably be an honor. Um, you know, uh, oh, or Zha Zha Yinan. She could kick the crap out of me and I'd probably enjoy it. Um, yeah, apart from that and a couple other female wrestlers, now that I think about it, that's probably you know who I'd want to get into a fight with. Um, not that I'd want to get into a fight with any of them, really, because I think they're just awesome. Generally, I reserve fighting for pricks. Don't get me wrong, I don't think Justin Bieber is awesome, it's just that I don't think he'd be worth my time. Moving on to the next question. Tony Macca. <laughs> Who is your favourite horror... Oh, it's two-parter. Who is your favourite horror movie slasher? For the first one. Uh, like, and part two. Like Freddy vs. Jason, who else would you like to see square off in a new horror movie? Oh, cool. Huh. Um, I suppose, as far as horror slashers go... I'm going to have to go with Jason, just because he's one of the originals, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Anytime I'm playing Terror Drone, it's him that I'm going up against, or going up as. Um, you know, and what I can respect, you know, Freddy and Mike Myers and some of the other boys, um, less so some of... I, I, just, I, I just like Jason, that whole, you know, unstoppable killing machine kind of really was him. Um, as for who I'd like to sque see square off against each other, um... I don't know really. It would be a good fight. Um, well, you know, technically speaking, we kind of enact this anytime we play a terror drum, so, you know, I mean, mm, Maniac Cop versus Pennywise. I don't know why that popped into my head. It's just, for some reason, I have this notion of this insane cop trying to hunt down this apparent criminal that's dressed like a clown, except it turns out to be Pennywise, and it all goes pear shipped when it turns out that it's Maniac Cop, and there's no one going to be floating anywhere. But it could be fun. Right, on to the last question. This one comes in from Raven. Ha! Huh? Describe your ideal heroine, female character, that would appear in a horror movie of your choice. Create the ideas... Create the ideal heroine in Giz's opinion. Hmm. That's basically just saying, how would I write a female heroine in a story? Um, I've done a couple of stories. None of them on the Emerald Gore Society at the moment. Basically, they're years ago. Where it had female heroines in it, but... um. I don't know, I haven't really thought about... Hmm. hmm... It would all depend on the situation. I mean, to be perfectly honest, when you're describing any hero or heroine, you're basically describing an archetype, and all you're doing is genderizing them one way or another. So any qualities, I think, that you would look for when writing a, a heroic character, they don't actually necessarily have to go one way or the other between, between male and female. Although I have to admit that genderizing them does bring up different different um, directions that you can take the character in on a personal level when it comes to actually describing a hero basically what you just asked me is describe a hot chick because you know who doesn't like seeing a hot chick in a you know heroine type role and yes sometimes it's not the hot chick that's the heroine but that once again goes to the heroic qualities of the character I mean they, when you're describing a hero all that's really necessary is Someone that takes crap, gets back up, looks out for those around them, does whatever it takes to make sure that the, they can do the most good for the most people around them, and doesn't stop until they're either dead or their enemy is dead. That goes between male or female genders. That's just the way they are. Um, as we're describing, you know, a female character, I'm always partially Asian chicks. All right, that's it. End the discussion. Oh, and Red, like what you see? Have an opinion on what I might have said or what someone else here might have said? 
yeah, might as well let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, you know, comment on stuff, because, hey, you never know, we might decide to actually comment back.